Thank you very much. Seeing no further questions, we're going to open up a public comment. If anyone from the public wish to have comments, please line up the microphone. On my right, your left. This microphone? Yes, that mic. Uh, good afternoon. I don't think it's on. It's on. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, members of the legislature. Um, my name is Kevin Sabo. I'm a student at UC Berkeley, uh, and I'm also the chair for the UCSA Board of Directors. Um, I just wanted to comment that a lot of times the UC talks about um, consulting students, and um, I don't know that this consultation is as extensive, um, and uh, I'll just leave it at extensive as uh, might be perceived by the phrase consultation. A lot of these times, uh, it's informal dialogue with students that aren't elected representatives, such as those on council student body presidents or the UC Student Association. And so be more critical of what uh, you're told when you are told that students are consulted. Also, I think it's very indicative of the fact that students are consulted when we just heard that UC Santa Cruz um, has room for growth when uh, we are told almost every month by students at UC Santa Cruz about the poverty and how students are homeless because there's not enough housing or even affordable housing in the area. So I would be very critical of the UC uh, in terms of what it tells you and to talk to students, ex consider expanding the committee of two. Students are greatest impacted by these decisions, and they should have a greater role in shaping these decisions than simply being Thank you. the consequences of these policy making. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good morning, everybody. My name is Avi Noam Baral. I'm a fourth year at UCLA, where I serve as the undergraduate student body president there. While I commend this committee and the state legislature for its commitment uh, to involvement in the UC system, I want to make sure that we're not losing sight of the bigger picture. The bigger picture is this state's systematic disinvestment from the UC and higher ed in general over the last two decades. The committee today was nitpicking the amount of funding per student today, but failed to even mention that in 20 years, state support per student has declined by over half adjusted for inflation. This disinvestment has taken a tremendous toll, toll on the students at UCLA and, at UC, and UC-wide. As tuition has tripled in that time, it has pushed thousands of students to take on extra jobs and take on extra loans to finance an education that was supposed to be accessible to every, to every uh, California resident. Further, where is the funding promised to us by passing Prop 30? Let's examine the shortcomings of the UC, but let's make sure we don't forget the shortcomings of our state legislature. Members of the committee, today I commend you for, taking your, for, for, uh, for your interest in keeping the UC excellent. But it, today I also ask that you ensure the excellence of the UC by showing more support for higher education in California. If you let the politics of Sacramento corrode your responsibility of funding the UC to its capacity so, it's, so it can afford future leaders of California an affordable and quality education, I'd be ashamed to call you my representative. It's a good cause, it's good policy, and it's the right thing to do. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, members. Uh, my name is Ismael Contreras. I'm a third year um, student at UC Berkeley, Go Bears. Um, and I, am, uh, I work with the External Affairs Vice President's Office um, <coughs> over at the Associate Students at Berkeley. Um, I want to uh, thank a lot of you for touching on a lot of the points that a lot of our students on campus uh, have concerns about, specifically about the issues of diversity, the fact that there are disparities in diversity from campus to campus, especially at our campus at Berkeley, where only 13% of students are Latino. Um, on the issue of recruitment as well, you know, sending administrators as abroad as opposed to sending them into my neighborhood in South Central Los Angeles. You know, never once have I seen a recruiter come to my school, talk to my students, uh, talk to my friends. I'm sure if that happened, I would see a lot more of my friends along with me here at Berkeley. Um, so I want to commend you for a lot of these things that you're bringing up and making sure that we hold the UC accountable, something that has really never been done before. Um, I understand there's issues of, you know, state funding. Um, but I know a lot of you are new members, and I hope that you hold the UC accountable, that you revisit this issue, um, and that you include students in the process, something that the UC has not really been consistent in. Thank you very much for your testimony. Hello, my name is Sophia Franco. I'm, I'm the Lobby Corps Manager for State Affairs at Student Government at UC Berkeley. I also wanted to commend and thank a lot of the legislators here and the members for comment and concerns about our students' education. It's something that's obviously really pressing in the news lately, and I think it should continue to be pressing because it's our future, and it's the future of California's residents. Um, I also want to speak to what Assemblymember <coughs> Sawyer said about diversity. 
being a Latina at Berkeley isn't very easy, and also being a political s science student and a Latina at Berkeley is very easy. I look around my room, I don't see a lot of students that look like me, especially to that, I don't see a lot of female Latina students that look like me. Um, and it's very discouraging, especially in the realm of political science, which I very much see myself continuing in. And I just wanted to say that when we keep up the conversation about funding, when we keep up the conversation about um, affordability and accessibility and transparency, I also think that we should keep up the conversation about diversity because California is the most diverse state in this country, and I think it's something that should be on the forefront of our discussion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Last and final comment. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ishmael Chamu. I'm also first year at the University of California, Berkeley. Um, I appreciate uh, coming here to see the conference of the committee uh, touching on points on basis of funding, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would like to highlight also the, uh, the fact that uh, recruitment centers at UC Berkeley are actually keep on getting threatened um, of you know, their funding being retrieved, um, taken away from them. Uh, recruitment centers that reach out to communities of color, to the black community, to the Latino community, are constantly being threatened, uh, being removed from uh, funding that's provided to them. And I think that should be addressed, especially having the UC rep here also. And again, you know, the UC uh, chancellor's um, tuition raises, uh, I get, um, their salary raises, which I think should be addressed also, especially given the fact that, you know, um, communities of color on campus are constantly being threatened and this funding isn't allocated to the students as it should be, and especially given the fact that UC Berkeley is only 2% um, are black, and that's pretty uh, astonishing given the fact that California has a high population of African American and Latino communities. So I guess um, I just want to address, uh, I appreciate it, and um, you know, I just want to bring to the table the notions that we need to invest more into the funding and recruitment of students of color in the state of California for the better of the state of California. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, just very briefly, we've had a very robust and dynamic conversation on the important areas of the university and its campuses that concerns all of us. Um, as I mentioned in my opening comments, uh, many budget factors come into play when discussing the university, pre-student funding, and non-resident uh, enrollment. I strongly believe that our prestigious public university system uh, must show a sense of urgency in correcting the inadequates of student funding, particularly um, at the campus um, with higher uh, minority students um, there. Um, the auditor, I have requested um, an audit to be done um, to assess the university's progress as well as determine how this has improved the transparency um, through the budget process that I believe that this body as well as California's taxpayers um, strongly demand. I want to thank the presenters for presenting um, to this body today and my colleagues as well. I want to have some final comments um, by the Chair of Higher Education, uh, Mr. Medina. Well, first let me uh, thank uh, the Assembly Member for bringing this together at this hearing and I think it's been fruitful and uh, and I think we've heard a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. But I uh, agree with uh, Mr. Assembly Member Williams, you know, that it's the responsibility of the state of California, uh, us, the legislature, to fund our higher education system, UC, CSU, and the community colleges, uh, at the level that the citizens of California deserve. And uh, and and I don't think that the uh, cuts that that the UC system has uh, has experienced you know, has served our state well. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to see uh, fees uh, increase on the backs of students. So I, I, I agree with Senator Lada that it is not a blank check that we give to UC. You know, that the citizens of California also deserve that the money we give to UC be used uh, even fairly. And so that raises questions in my mind you know, on the process, the way that we've been doing it. And it is very important, I think, that we find a fairer way of distributing that money that we do give to UC uh, throughout the entire system. Uh, and there are so many discrepancies in that. I, I agree with uh, Professor Samuel that I'm a little bit skeptical uh, of, of the process that UC is using in rebenching and uh, wonder if it'll really get us there. But I know that we have much conversation ahead, that we'll be looking for the, uh, the new audit, 
and that we'll be looking at uh, the, the whole budget process very carefully and to see what you see is doing and how we can do it better. So I look forward to uh, the, the time ahead and look forward to working, continuing to work with UC to see how we can together do it better for the state of California. Any final comments from other members? No, thank you, Mr. Chairman, other than thank you for calling this uh, hearing today. And uh, thank you to everyone who testified. We did have a robust discussion. We look forward to more follow-up. Thank you again. This committee stands adjourned.